my little pixies, it's Pixarella here and welcome back to my channel. So today I bring to you a new game that recently came out on Steam called Dream Daddy. Alright, I thought it was a very cute game and I decided to give it a try. Alright, so we're going to find our daddy, our dream daddy. <laughs> Alright, All right, so let's get started. Alright. <laughs> Dad <laughs> Dad, wake up Wake up, pretend to be dead Five more minutes, uh, let's pretend I let my tongue roll out of my mouth And stop breathing Amanda shakes me Come on, Dad. This hasn't worked on me since I was six. I'm sorry, Amanda. This is the end for me. Dad, I swear to God. Amanda, I bequeath to you all of my earthly possessions. Spread my ashes over my recliner. Okay, well, your corpse better get into the moving van, because it's leaving soon. <laughs> oh. I finally open my eyes and sit up. I'm lying in the middle of the living room, spooning over. Over. A moving box. I yawn and stretch. <laughs> Morning, Manda Panda. Oh. Yikes. Dad breath. Go brush your teeth. <laughs> Alrighty now. Dad tip number four. Stand up for yourself. Don't let anyone disrespect you. That's Build right. That dad. Okay, cool. Build that dad. Alrighty now. So do we want him with body hair? Oh, with nobody here. I think he kind of looks sexy with with hair, but not a lot. Alright, so that's the one he has on. Ooh, teddy bear daddy. No. Okay, so this one has hair, but not so much. Okay. Right, I think I'm going to go for the teddy bear type. Like, who, who doesn't want a teddy bear for a daddy? Thick bender bod. Or binder bod, if you want to say it. All right, so um, let's see. Um, what type of skin tone do we want him to look like? I mean, to have. I don't know. I want him. I kind of like this one though. like him with that one all right I'm gonna go with that one all right so let's go with the head shapes okay so I'm assuming this is the one he has shadow what's the shadow for oh it gives him that little peach fuzz all right definitely gonna give him the shadow mm. I like that one no that's too triangular mm. no I kind of like this one. All right, hair. Definitely, we're gonna go with black hair. Um, what? Uh, these hairs are hard. Seriously, what in the world is this? Like seriously, <laughs> where were they thinking? We, I, I, what is this? <laughs> what the hell happened? He was trying to shave and. He just shaved off a chunk on the side of his head. Like, seriously? Oh, no, 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 no. This just doesn't work for us. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? These hairs are just horrible. Okay. Well, that one looks okay. Hmm. Okay, I kind of like that one. Mm. You know what? I guess we're going to go for that one. <laughs> Let's change these eyebrows before we change anything else because these eyebrows are just horrible. Um, 
Let's see what they have. What? Oh my god. These eyebrows will not do. What in the world are these? <laughs> Look like he has a pair of wings. Oh my god. Alright. Um, I think those are okay. Yeah, I think we'll go for those. Alright, let's go for the eyes. I'm thinking we can give him some green eyes. Ooh. Aww. Okay, what the fuck? <laughs> what in the world is that? Seriously, that's just... Really? Is, is this an option? Really, I'm gonna walk around with hard eyes wherever I'm going. Like, seriously? Come on, they could've came up with better options. Okay, I like these. Hmm. <laughs> oh my god. Oh wow. <sighs> oh wow. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. Alright. I think I'm between this one and this one. Um, here he looks kind of sad. I guess we're gonna go for these. Alright, let's look for the nose. Well, I kind of like the nose he already has, but let's just check the ones that they give us. Um, okay, that's just a little. Oh, Lord Jesus, yeah. I, I like the one he already has. I want my daddy to have some full luscious lips. Yes. The more to kiss on. Okay, what in the world? No. We gotta change. The pre really? Really? Oh, Lord. Uh, I'm trying to find the one that kind of like matches his skin tone a little I'm assuming this one um oh no let's go back to here um okay kind of I kind of, mm, I kind of like this one. Hmm. All right, I kind of like that one. All right, that one looks pretty good. All right, yeah, we're gonna go with that one. But not those lips, though. Well, maybe. Hmm. Ew. Um. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I guess these will do, but I don't want him to look like he's some sort of creep, creepy dude or something. We'll take those and then we'll see Maybe with some facial hair or something What is all of this? This is just new Ew Really? Ugh These don't work for us Oh god I don't like that mouth I really don't. It makes him look like he's a creep, like he's up to no good or something. Aw. I guess those will do. Alright, um. Ooh, under facial. Alright, glasses. Let's see what type of glasses we can give him. Okay, I like those. 
I like these. But I like these though. Yeah, we'll do that. What? No. Hmm. Huh. No. Yeah, that's perfect. All right, clothes. Really? This is all the clothes we get. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Really? Are we going to embarrass our child wearing this? <gasps> oh man! No, 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 no. <laughs> Alright, okay, I guess we're talking. Mm. 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 I, I think we'll go with this. <laughs> You know. Alright, well, I guess we're done. <laughs> Alright, so this is our daddy -o. <laughs> Oh man, I wish we had better options, you know. But this is our daddy -o. Build that dad. <laughs> Alright, let's get it popping. Alright, let's name our daddy. Okay, what can we possibly call you? Hmm. How about two? Hmm, how about Darren Walker? Yep, Darren Walker. Alrighty now. Let's get it popping. Tip 85 be generous and kind to everyone. Don't trust gas stations. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> Did you fall asleep packing? I got most of it done, I think. Searching around the room, it looks like I did a pretty good job. Every box is sealed except for one. Wait, straggler. Hmm. What's in it? Looking into the box, I see a bunch of old photos and little photo albums. All right. Whoa, I haven't seen these in years. Pull out one of the dusty albums from the top of the pile and we begin looking through it. Oh, she looks so cute. <laughs> <laughs> That's the coolest baby I've ever seen. Oh, I guess we'll go with the uh, dad then. The only way your father and I could get you to stop crying was to put the sunglasses on you. But whenever we tried to take them off, you'd start crying again. You spent the first two years of your life with sunglasses on. Aww. <laughs> nice. Halloween when you were maybe four? Oh, she looks so adorable. <laughs> oh my god, that dragon costume. You couldn't decide between being a princess or a dragon, so you went with both. Princess Dragon. I say she made a great choice. <laughs> I love Halloween. Oh my god, I can't wait for Halloween to get here. Mm. The month of October. I love it, period. Why do I remember crying in that dragon costume? Aww. You saw yourself in the mirror and realized you were afraid of dragons. Seeing yourself inside the dragon's mouth was a realization of your greatest fear, I think. Mm. Right. Yep. Definitely repress that memory. And this was you in your horse phase. Aww, she was adorable. I can't wear her. She's too cute. Oh. Dad. <laughs> I believe you named that plush horse Sir Horsington the Brave. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't think that was his. And Manda lunges for the photo, but I quickly snatch it away and hold it above her head with my superior dart arms. Nice try, but this is important blackmail for later down the road. Aww. <laughs> Go ahead and try me. I've seen pictures of you in your scabband. Ouch, kid. These scabbiness manifesto had a chance back in the day. I look off into the distance and reminisce about that rad horn section. Hey, it's Emma P. Aw, they're too cute. Aw, this is giving me ideas. <laughs> yep. No, Dad. That's Emma R. I didn't meet Emma P. until high school. 
Honey, I promise you wholeheartedly that I will never stop mixing those two up. Ugh. Dad, and my R's been my best friend since I was seven. Give it like a little bit of effort. All right. Emma P was the one who tried to steal people's pets, fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station, pooped her pants during a sleepover. Oh, um, I guess this. Fired a flaming tennis ball at the police station. Lighter fluid, tennis ball, tennis racket, right. Dad, that was you. Oh, right. I was a wild child. I was six when you did it. Okay, Amanda, I wasn't aiming for the police station. It just happened that there was a police station in the vicinity where I wanted to hit a flaming tennis ball. <gasps> yeah, I remember you explaining that to the police. They didn't believe me either. Anyway, I gotta show this to Emma R later. She'll get a kick out of it. <laughs> The first photography award you ever won. Aww. Yeah. And it got us a $20 gift card to my Fridays. Yeah. And then you got food poisoning from the Cheesy Toes Tata Blast. I think you mean food poisoning, you know, with a Z. Yeah. Dad. Still can't drive past Mac Fridays without gagging. <laughs> so proud of you, though. Amanda reaches deep down into the box and pulls out one last photo. Mm -hmm. Neither of us say a word. We stare at the photo for a long moment. Oh. Finally decide to break the silence. This was the day you were born. This was the day we adopted you. It's kind of a funny story. The day we brought you home, we got into a car accident. It wasn't anything big, just a little fender bender in the parking lot. But of course, I was freaking out, and the little old lady who crashed into us was freaking out. And I didn't know what to do. But your father, oh man. He holds my hand and looks me directly in the eyes. The calmest I've ever seen him. He says, it's okay. It's all gonna be okay. Oh. He was right, you know? I stare at the picture for longer, maybe too long. I miss him. Oh. I can't even imagine what it must be like for Amanda. Ah. She pats me on the back. Huh. Come on, pops. We gotta finish packing. The moving van won't wait forever. You're right. Amanda and I pile into the car and take one last look at the old house. So many memories here. Hard to believe your father and I bought this place almost 20 years ago. Hey, remember when I shattered the front window playing catch? You always had very strong arms. Huh. Hey, remember when I shattered the other front window pretending to be a robot who breaks windows? You were a very imaginative child. Yeah. Hey, remember when I broke the back window... We get it, Amanda. You break stuff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> They're too cute. And there'll be plenty more stuff for me to break in the new place. Memories to make and stuff to break. Okay. You ready? We sit in silence for a moment. I watch my daughter grow up in this house. It will forever hold a place in my heart. But it stings a little bit to leave it behind. Oh, I'm ready. The moving van begins to pull away, and I get the car into position to follow it. I watch our house, our old house, disappear in the rear view mirror. So, oh, this game is giving me feelings. <laughs> so, uh, so sell me on our new, on our cool new pad. What the fuck? I can't read today. I clear my throat and do my best cheesy announcer voice. Nestled in beautiful, scenic downtown Maple Bay, our new house features. Uh, let's see, washer and dryer hookups, a two-car garage, multiple places to sleep. I guess we'll go with that. Not only are there bedrooms for your sleeping pleasures, but couches and floor spaces where you can, yes, catch a wink. <laughs> I probably sound so horrible. Sorry, guys. <laughs> 
What a deal. I mean, if sleep weren't for the week. You sleep more than anyone I know. I admit my faults, Pops. I keep it real. Anyway, it's also smaller than our last house. Huh. Cozier, one might argue. Good spin. Yeah. I think it's great. Won't we be closer to a lot of cool stuff that we can walk to so I don't have to waste gas? And I mean, trying to park down is downtown is, you know. Amanda, you know you're going to have to learn how to parallel park at some point, right? Mm-hmm. Not going to happen, Pops. I think someone needs to do a three-point turn on their attitude. Hmm. I don't know how to do that either. Have you met the neighbors yet? Not yet, but the neighborhood seems pretty quiet. So you won't have to chase any rowdy teens off your lawn? You are the very teen you mock when you say that, honey. Eh? I'm in my last year of high school. I'm practically dust. Yeah, you're real. Huh. Don't you dare. Senior. Huh. Dad, I know where this is going. Citizen? Huh. I'm just gonna ignore that. Eh? <laughs> but I won't forget it. So what's, I- so what's item number one on the new house agenda? Well, first we'll need to forge a path through the solid wall of boxes that block in the living room. That's blocking the living room. I still have to install the washer and dryer. We need to go grocery shopping. Hmm. Pops, cool your jets. You have to promise me that we're going to take a break and explore the neighborhood. Okay, okay, you're right. We'll get some work done and then check the area out. We pull up to the new house and step outside. The lawn is freshly mown and the for sale sign is still in the yard. Hiya! <laughs> and with a swift kick from Amanda, the for sale sign is no more. Nice form, sweet pea. <laughs> I got a problem with authority. I'm so proud. Man, all that karate chopping tuckered me out. I could really go for a sandwich. An ice cream sandwich? Sweetie, it's 10 a.m. We need to unpack first. I need some coffee ASAP. Did you even see all the dogs in the park nearby? Um, I guess we'll go for some coffee. I gotta get my hands on a nice hot cup of the old bean juice, so I'm gonna be useless all day. I think we passed the coffee shop on the way here. Maybe we could check that out. Let's do it. try to exercise regularly. We walk down the street to the coffee spoon, a cute little place on the corner. Yeah. Man, this is in such oh my god, I just lost myself there. <laughs> Man, this isn't such a convenient walking distance from our place. I mean, I guess. Hmm. What's wrong? Why would I go somewhere else and drink coffee on a couch when I could just drink better coffee at home on my own couch and not have to make awkward eye contact with other people? At least when I'm home, some random guy isn't going to come up and sit on the recliner next to me. And I won't feel like a little weird about it because technically he's not sitting at my table, but he's very much within my personal zone. Dad, and what's the etiquette when you have a dirty mug? Is there a bin? Do you go set it up on the counter because you don't know where else to put it? Or do you leave it there and feel your face flush hot with shame as you consider the possibility that there is in fact a bin somewhere just out of sight and now you're that jerk who left their mug? Dad, are you just afraid to meet new people? Yes, Amanda. We walk inside. (laughs) I feel so bad for him. Oh, my, my, my. Chocolate daddy. Mm -mm -mm. See, why couldn't we have these type of options? Look at his mustache, his glasses, his eyebrows. Look at those eyes, that hair. He has tattoos. Look at his clothes. Like, why didn't we get these type of options? And they give us what they gave us. He is yummy. Alrighty now. 
The inside of the coffee shop is incredibly, incredibly warm and inviting. Vinyl records line the walls and patrons lounge around on well-worn in couches. Well-worn in couches. Some cool tunes spin on a record player next to a little stage. Sorry guys, but it's like I'm forgetting how to read. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to the coffee spoon, guys. How's it going? What's with the name? Hey, uh, oh, it's a... Uh, it's kind of dumb. Hey. It gets mentioned in this poem I like, and I thought it was a good idea at the time. And I suppose now it's still a good idea because, like, the business is still running. <laughs> but people ask me that question all the time, and I give them the same answer every time. And now I'm standing here and brambling, and I'm sure we're all getting more and more uncomfortable the more I keep talking. But man, we're in it now, and I can't stop. <laughs> Oh man, poor guy. <laughs> okay then. So, what will it be? Hmm. I scan the chalkboard menu and I'm immediately overwhelmed. I'll have, uh, mm, let's see, Godspeed You, Black Coffee, Ice Tegan and Sarah, Chai and wo Ward, Ward. Okay, yeah, uh huh. We'll go with Tegan. <clears throat> uh oh, we got hearts. I guess he liked our choice. Yes, he did. Good choice. I don't get it. Oh, it's a, it's a pun. Tegan and Sarah are this really awesome Canadian indie band formed in 1995. They were nominated for a Grammy in 2013 and are known for being masters of not only pop hits but meaningful lyricism. Okay, I'm doing the thing again, oh. but coming right up. Mm. And for you, I'll have a macchiato, Demarco, please. Hey. Coming right up. Do you want that in small, medium, or biggie smalls? Uh, me medium. Wait, is biggie smalls big or small? Uh, I should change that, shouldn't I? Matt says to make. <laughs> drinks and Amanda and I take a seat on one of the couches what's his deal let the man make his puns they're cooler bands than you listen to anyways hey hey Scott was cool once this couch is actually pretty comfy maybe not comfier than our couch but it's all right good lumber support you sink right into it okay it's comfier than our couch <laughs> Amanda nudges me. This place is right next to our house, and that guy seems not only cool, but also just as uncomfortable with talking to other people as you are. You should totally become friends with him. Um, I don't know. Come on. What do we say about meeting new people? I can't meet new people if I always stay inside and also don't go outside and also don't talk to people. See? We're making progress. Matt sets our drinks down at our table and I have a sip. The iced tea ghoul and Vera is delicious. Hi. We're new in the neighborhood. I'm Amanda and this is my dad, Darren. Hey, dude. Oh, right on. Pleased to meet you both. Oh. You ought to come by when my daughter's hanging around the shop. You two might get along. Yeah, I'm sure we'll maybe come in from time to time. Amanda kicks my leg from under the table. I'm sure we'll be in here a lot. Hey. You know what? Let me get your guys' opinion on something. Matt goes into the back and comes out with a fresh plate of something that smells amazing. Hey. I'm working on a new banana bread recipe and I need help coming up with a name for it. Well, I think we're going to have to taste, test it first so we can uh, get the full flavor profile of, you know, and really appreciate the flavor sensations of... Amanda nods vigorously. She knows this game. Yeah, we need to give that Nana Bread a taste if you want us doing free created labor. I think that would be commensurate with a... Uh, I've told her well. We have trained for this day. <laughs> They're so silly. I was just going to give you guys free banana bread anyways. Right. Yes. That. Matt serves us each... A piece, Amanda and I happily chow down. This is amazing! 
Thanks. The secret ingredient is bananas. Duh. So any ideas? I'm stumped. Well, I think I might only be able to give you dad band puns, but I'll give it a shot. Banana bread Kennedy's, grateful banana bread, right set banana bread. I guess banana bread Kennedy's sound good. Oh, he liked that. You know, like the punk band. Oh. I thought you said you only knew dad bad puns. I'm a hard dad. What? That actually has a nice ring to it. Ah, <laughs> really? Hey. Yeah, banana bread Kennedy's strong decisions. That's art, baby. Oh, um. Hey. I wanted to say baby because I thought it would sound cool, but once I said it, I realized that it just doesn't sound good coming out of my mouth. And maybe I should just leave saying baby to the professionals. <laughs> Hey. Enjoy your coffee. Thanks, baby. Oh, look at these two. See, it sounds good when you say it. Across the way, a man catches my eye. He sits by himself, brooding over a cup of coffee. Our eyes meet just for a moment. Oh, well, looky, looky here. Hastily look away. I hastily look away, hoping he didn't catch me staring. Who is that? We finish up our drinks and head out. Hey. Thanks for stopping in. Take care. Okay, now that we're full of caffeine, where to? I should get back to unpacking. Let's get some fresh air. I need a nap. I guess have them unpack. I've got a lot on my plate right now. Did you know that moving is one of the biggest sources of stress for adults? Is it right behind the constant fear that you smell bad and everyone's too polite to tell you? Probably. But do I smell bad? A man that gives me a whiff. You're fine, pops. Let's go home. <laughs> well, I think Matt is adorable. He's so cute, and I'm loving him so far. Alright guys, I'm going to end this part right here. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to sub, like, and comment. Tell me what you think. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had loads of fun playing this game. It's really cute. It's a lot of um, reading and I might get, you know, stuck on my words and, <laughs> and stuff and whatnot here or there. But hey, I'm having fun and that's all that matters. I hope you guys enjoy and I'll see you guys at the next one. I'm in love with the cold, cold.